Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is the seventh video of our LZH Project series. And today I'm going to discuss uh, VI Editor. And in this video, basically I will try to explain uh, the basic feature of VI Editor. VI Editor is one of the most powerful uh, editor in Unisys and Linuxes. And uh, most of the professionals, uh, uh, Linux admins, uh, prefer VI Editor over all other editors such as Nano or like other graphical editors. So uh, let's start. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, create a file. And let's say I create touch uh, LZ h dot txt and now I would like to <coughs> edit this file and so to enter the VM editor or VI editor or Vim editor uh, we use VI and then the file name so to edit a file type VI and space then the file name press enter and you will enter into this file okay to insert the text, you press I on your keyboard. It will take you into the insert mode. Then you can start writing, start typing. Let's say this is my first file. Enter and it will take you to the next line. Uh, I like to work with Linux. Third line, my favorite distro is whatever your favorite distro is so once you are done you need to press the escape key on your keyboard then press colon like this sign like this uh, shift and colon on your uh, keyboard then press W to write the changes then Q to quit if you don't want to quit you just press write and you will remain you will be in the file then if you need to append the changes press I and then with the arrow keys you can go up or down press enter and you can add some other line hello world okay now if you wish to quit press escape shift colon write Q for quit press enter and you can see that you are out of this file in uh, roots home directory list and we have our LZ h.txt file available and let's get the content first let's clear the screen get LZ h.txt and here you can see all the content of this file okay so this is the very basic thing how you can create a file uh, and then you can edit the file now to uh, go to some advanced techniques in uh, VI let's go back in our file VI lch.txt okay now what I would like to do here is I would like to first of all delete a character so without inserting uh, or pressing i if i press x yes x it will delete one character at a time x x x okay again x and now i i uh, like on the next word okay so what if i would like to delete the full line so in order to delete the whole line I'll press DD twice D yes if I press twice D it will delete the whole line all line yes okay starting from the cursor okay what if I would like to delete all these three lines so what I will do is type the number 3 and DD 3 DD and you can see all lines are gone okay 
to undo the changes I will press U U and I have all my lines back pressing U again yes pressing U again U and this will undo all the changes I made okay now what I would like to do is I would like to copy all uh, like let's copy this first line only and to copy this first line I will press Y twice YY Y means to jank so jank is like copying something okay not you need to make sure that you are not in the insert mode okay now go uh, like take your arrow down bring your arrow down and now you can press I uh, sorry don't press I take your bring your arrow down press P and once you press P you can see it's pasted P again it's pasted P again it's pasted. you can paste the lines how many times you want just press P and it will be there okay now uh, what if I would like to delete all these four lines again press 4 DD and all four lines are gone okay now to undo the changes you press you okay now to search with VI editor you press the forward slash the forward slash key you please make sure you're not in insert mode okay plus forward slash you can see here type any word let's say I type send to us press enter and you can see the cursor is right beneath send to us okay to search again press forward slash and let's type hello and you know it's beneath hello okay one thing you should know the new users or the advanced users that Linux is case sensitive so capital letters are not like small letters so let's say I want to search for big world and you can see it didn't found any pattern so just make sure whatever you search uh, it's case sensitive okay now I would like to uh, like assign the numbers to this uh, these lines so how I can do that in VI is colon type set and you for numbers so colon set space and you press enter and you can see it will give my like all the lines these numbers which this is really important while uh, writing a file editing a file it helps you a lot so just remember to type the numbers give uh, like all line these numbers colon set space and you okay now what I would like to do is I would like to replace the text this with um, hello so or any word so to replace any text what I would do is I would do um, colon percent s s means to search okay forward slash what word I would to change I would like change uh, this and okay to that's a wonderful okay so all this uh, starting from the cursor where your cursor is it will change to the wonderful and I want this globally to take effect press enter and you can see that it took uh, the effect at once and it's all global like in all file to undo the change press U again and you are back so to change any text like any word with another word what you would do is colon person sign s to search let's say this time i want to change my with uh, 
great and global change press enter and you can see this is great first file it just change press u okay what if you don't uh, like my cursor is over here what if you like to change only um, line starting from five six seven eight and not the first line so what you will do is you will type uh, like line from five you want to change and uh, up till eight and then search this and replace it with well, let's say ABC press enter and you can see that the first line hasn't changed and these uh, lines from 5 to 8 have only changed press U to undo so you can do a lot of uh, things with VI it's a wonderful editor okay now the next thing that uh, we would I would like to discuss is press O and it will give you a blank line just beneath this cursor press O again and it's in the insert mode so to go out of insert mode you press escape key press O again and it's uh, giving you a blank line okay so uh, one very important thing uh, how you can select all the text in VI editor okay to select all the text uh, you we have number of ways do is there are a number of ways so what I prefer is uh, I press V V is to visual it's the visual key in VI editor and then uh, you can just check where your cursor is and you can just starting from the very beginning you can just select the text with your cursor or you can do is press the control key also and it can or the shift key and you can select this way or there is another easier way uh, if you want to select the whole text what you can do is press shift G and it will select all of your text basically shift G means to end of the line so shift G starting from the cursor okay so now what I would like to do is I would like to yank or copy all these lines so let me escape this let me go to the very first line here press V okay now I would like to press shift G it selected all my uh, lines and now press comma the asterisk and y comma asterisk and y so you can see it's 10 lines yanked and what you can do is you can bring this cursor cursor down press p and it will paste all those files now all those lines uh, like next to the cursor okay <clears throat> so what you need to do is press V to visualize like go into the vi uh, visual mode then press shift G it will take the cursor to the end of the line and it will select all the text then you press comma asterisk and Y to jank all the lines and then P for paste wherever you want to paste okay so let's undo you okay now what I would like to do is uh, I would like to um, let's create one more file let's go out of this so to go out of this I'll press colon write and quit I just want to save my changes okay so let's clear the screen and let's create uh, one more file vi this time we will create a file with vi vi cell.txt yes you can create file with vi also so press enter insert the like my name is salman 
Francis, and I love Linux. Okay, and write and quit. So let's clear the screen, get the content, um, sal.txt, and you can see my name is Salman Francis. I love Linux. Okay, so let's go back in this file. And we should know what was the name of our previous file, lzh.txt. Okay, let's go in that lzh.txt. So vi lzh.txt. This is our old file. And what I would like to do is, I would like to bring content of cell.txt into this file. So to do that, I'll just put my cursor at the end of the line colon r and then cell.txt name of the file press enter and you can see that all that content which was in my file is now in uh, this lzh.txt and to make sure just write and quit clear the screen and cat content of lzh.txt and you can see at the end there is my name is Salman Francis I love Linux and what happened to our original file let's get the content of cell.txt and all the content is there so this is how you can bring content of one file into another okay let's go back to our original file and what I would like to do is I would like to <clears throat> Um, show you a few tricks also. You can press colon and type pwd and you can see that it will show you in which directory you are working right now. Uh, you can even go to the like in any directory from here you can um, let, let, let me show you. For example I just want to go in roots home directory so I'll do sorry CD and I'm in root And I am roots home directory. So you can see that I can go from here to any directory or let me show you something else. Let's see I just want to go to home directory and I am in home directory trust me and to sh make sure let's make a file here. So yeah I just want to make sure that we are in home directory and you can uh, navigate from VI uh, in within the directories also so to make sure let us create a file from VI editor and another file like not lzh.txt let's create one more file and to create another file we use tape and let's create uh, home.txt this file and insert some text this is to make sure that we are now in home directory okay so write and quit and you can see that we are still in the other file but let's quit from here we haven't done any changes okay and we can see that home.txt is not here. Let's go to home. And there we are, home.txt. Let's get the content of home. And this is to make sure that we are now in home directory. So this is some secret stuff and some good stuff for VI. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot because it helped, like VI is one of the best editor 
I have came across and I love to learn it and if you need some more information I would recommend uh, to just uh, Google uh, Vim or VI editor and uh, also I would like to show you one uh, quick trick also uh, to just uh, make sure you go into VI editor let's say uh, home.txt okay what if you just made a mistake like you were editing a file let's say and you just did something like this and now you are in big trouble that oh man I have just edited this directory and what can I do now so what I would uh, advise you is you press escape and press colon Q and then the exclamation mark so what does this do is it makes sure that you quit forcefully without changing anything so let's quit and go back in the same directory uh, file and you see that no harm done so just make sure that you use uh, your skills what I just told you and be more flexible with Vim and hopefully you will love it and uh, thank you very much for watching and hopefully next video will be our users and groups uh, a video and please uh, do subscribe and comment if you like my videos and that's it and you have a good one bye bye